call themselves the wave omatics and dancing is what they do. But for a multicultural dance troupe, life is not so easy in Athens these days. Agalos's mother is from Cuba, reason enough for four men to attack him on the street one night. I talk to them like, uh, look man, I am here at, uh, at Greece. I am living uh, 20 years here. What is your problem? And uh, the response for all this, it was like, uh, we don't care. They stopped just for fight. It's a familiar story for other dancers in the group. They're often the target of insults during their street performances. Some of the dancers live off what they bring in. Those who have a bit more share it with the rest, just like a family. If everyone is the same, there is no development. If everyone is different, and yet we are united still, there is a development. Uh, people, strong people that they have the money, they don't want development. They just want us to be like robots and doing their things. Development is the key. And uh, development happens with difference. We support the difference everywhere. But this openness to foreigners, to people who look or think differently, has become increasingly rare in the last few years. One reason is the refugee issue, which is a flashpoint in Greek politics. Immigrants are seen as potential criminals, and the police treat them with excessive rigor. One month ago, Pavlos Fissas was stabbed to death by neo-Nazis. He was a well-known rapper and anti-fascist activist. Some of the wave omatics knew him well. Savros was a friend and gave breakdance performances at his concerts. But Stavros refuses to capitulate to the right-wing extremists and their racist tactics. That's something he shared with Pavlos Fissas. Pavlos and I, we want the same thing. We have the same goal. We want to show our resistance to the rise of the right wing, to take a public stand. The difference is that he did that with his songs and lyrics, and we do it with dance. The site where Pavlos Fusses was killed has become a kind of pilgrimage site. His songs are more popular than ever. The murder of a Greek citizen targeted for his politics has sent shockwaves through society. Pavlos was killed because he didn't like the fascists. He wasn't a member of any political party. He just wanted to use music to fight the pain and injustice of our world. The fascists were just looking for the right moment to kill him. The man who killed Pavlos Fissas is a supporter of the neo-fascist Krisi Avgi party, or Golden Dawn. Three weeks ago, most of Golden Dawn's top leaders were arrested. They faced charges of running a criminal organization, murder, grievous bodily harm, money laundering, and blackmail. Costas Papioanu of Human Rights Watch says the arrests are long overdue. The organization has been trying to draw attention to racist violence in Greece for years now. Politicians and the media have been ignoring the problem. It seems that after the killing of Pavlos Fissas, this uh, balloon of, of cover-up has been broken. Uh, but this does not necessarily mean that the whole Greek society is willing to see the truth because there are many problems remaining, the, the, the everyday life, that still many people do not consider it very important the way that, for example, immigrants from, from Pakistan are, are attacked. We have a long way to go. We have xenophobia and racism in, in, in Greek society. We had it in the past, but it came up with the financial crisis and it's still there. <laughs> For the wave omatics, the crisis is also an opportunity. It's a chance to break up the old boy network, the old way of doing things. For these young dancers, the way forward is clear. Greece needs to become more open and tolerant and start welcoming immigrants and cultural diversity as a positive benefit. If more people were different and did what they liked and expressed themselves as they are, 
uh, uh, this thing uh, wouldn't exist here. The wave omatics have qualified for the finals of the international breakdance competition in Germany. They're proud to have the chance to represent Greece in the tournament. But as break dancers, nationality isn't all that important to them. For them, dance is about breaking down barriers that divide us as people. They call me Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the rumba beat. When I play the maracas, I go chick, chicky boom, chick, chicky boom. Yes, sir.